Governors and senators expected to petition the Supreme Court over the amphas of the Division of Revenue Bill. And Council of Governors Chairman Weekly for Paranya says the counties are facing a financial crisis over the failure by the National Assembly and the Senate to agree on the division of the revenue bill. According to Paranya, counties cannot make their budgets and have been left with monies to pay salaries alone. Governors will be seeking an advisory opinion on the role of the Commission on Revenue Allocation in allocating monies to counties. And in addition, the legality of the appropriation bill that was assented to by the president, despite the stalemate on the division of revenue bill. I understand we have uh, Stephen Leto, who is standing by somewhere in the city as uh, we get into the countdown to the governors and the Council of Governors proceeding to court. Stephen Leto, good morning. We've seen what the divide is. How far are they in filing that case at the Supreme Court? Have you seen them converge? Well, good morning to you there, Zinzi and Sam. Indeed, it is a Monday of a, uh, or rather a legal showdown between the Council of Governors, the Senators, members of county assemblies and the national government. The uh, Council of Governors had yesterday claimed that they had been starved money and that counties had begun facing or encountering a financial crunch. And that was the very reason why they want to move to the Supreme Court to seek an advisory opinion on a number of issues surrounding to budgets of both the national government and the, uh, uh, and the county governments. Already the governors are continuing to uh, convert together before they can now state that much uh, that uh, uh, protest walk to the Supreme Court. Where we are right now, Sam, is the City Hall way, and uh, right there is the roundabout for the uh, City uh, City Hall way roundabout. Of course, the roundabout that um, uh, connects with uh, Parliament Road. We understand that this is the road that uh, the governors and the devolution stakeholders, and include also senators, will be using to march all the way to the Supreme Court. Already, we are seeing indications that movements in this uh, city hall, along the city hall way, has been restricted because uh, just uh, uh, across or, or just at the end, you can see a yellow ribbon that has been, uh, you know, uh, block, that had been used to block the city hall way by the county uh, askaris of the city county of Nairobi. Uh, from that end, at, the, at, the, at, the, at that roundabout junction, you get that they have blocked vehicles from accessing City Hall Way. A similar situation is on the other side, uh, or at the tail end uh, part of this uh, City Hall Way that is adjacent to the Supreme Court. It has also been cordoned off. Uh, vehicles that are using that, uh, uh, that want to access City Hall Way have been diverted to other part of the central business district. And that is the situation because governors say they want to walk and exist exhibit their displeasure and their, uh, their dissatisfaction with the manner in which the division of revenue bill has been handled both by the National Assembly and the Senate. Remember there was a, a mediation talks that, uh, uh, that had uh, been formed between the Senate and the National Assembly. From the side of the Senate, you had Narok Senator Ledama Olekina. We also had Nairobi, uh, Nairobi Senator uh, jo Johnson Sakaja, Na Nakuru Senator Susan Kihika, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. of the uh, of uh, from Akweni, and Mohammed Mahmoud, who is the Senator, uh, who is the Senate uh, Chair of the Finance Committee, who actually uh, rejected the 310 billion shillings allocation from the National Assembly. And what the uh, Council of governors are going to do at uh, the Supreme Court is an advisory opinion on why should the allocation by the Commission on Revenue Allocation, that is CRA, uh, excuse, uh, allocate money to counties and then it is subjected to a lot of institutions in Parliament to adjust that amount. There were citing, that is the Council of Governors Chair Wycliffe Oparanya was yesterday citing that why is that SRC set salaries and uh, there is no uh, or there is no objection and every single uh, public uh, servant has to abide by the set standard by a commission on salaries. Yet a commission that sets money for counties is subjected to a number of uh, stages that later on alters the original figure and that is some of the issues that they want to know why should that figure be adjusted and not really go all straight and be approved by both uh, by both houses another thing is that remember the president signed the appropriation bill that now approves that monies can now be used the governors are challenging that appropriation bill saying that they cannot allow money to be used yet they are they are yet they are still fighting for their own uh, 
uh, for their own allocation as county government. The last thing that the governors are sorting from uh, the advisory of the Supreme Court is regarding the, the control of budget, Agnes Odiambo. It, they are asking, will she be acting on an illegality? Should uh, the control of budget proceed and release money to the national government, yet county governments are, uh, are still uh, fighting for their, uh, for, their, uh, for, for their own allocation? And so those are the issues that we, we are following a keen eye. Remember, they have set a number of activities for today. From, uh, from uh, marching at the city hall way, they will be going to the Supreme Court, presenting their petition, and of course they will be given an, uh, a hearing date. And and um, from there, they will be heading to the Kenyatta International Co Convention Center, that is the KICC. What they will be doing there is to meet the devolution stakeholders and ensure that they, uh, you know, uh, try to address and see how they are going to uh, sort out this thing. While I was speaking to the Council of Governors Chair yesterday, weekly for Paranyam, he was insisting that there was now need for a referendum to streamline the uh, clauses on devolution and that they do not want a, 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 an annual division of revenue bill that will be coming to set uh, to set how much money goes to the counties and that they want an exact figure of the projected revenue uh, collection by the national government to be going to the county governments and so that is what we are encountering remember already majority leader Ed and Dwale say that they will be republishing that uh, very same bill with the 310 billion shillings the senators that we have spoken to have said that they will be walking again to the mediation talks red-eyed and they will not take anything less than 300 and 27 billion shillings to the devolved units. Clearly, it's a showdown, Sam and Zinzi. Back to you. All right.